Good morning. Sorry, still fiddling around with cameras. Um, sorry, I'm a few minutes late. Um, been busy trying to sort out a bit of a space so that we can go live this morning. My name is Helen Jennings. I'm a stamping up demonstrator based here in the UK. Um, and here I am on this Monday morning to come and do a bit of crafting with you. Now, a bit of a warning this morning. Everything is a bit slow this morning. I spent um, yesterday digging in the garden and where we are here in Northamptonshire we have incredibly heavy clay soil um, so I think every single part of me aches this morning. Um, <laughs> walking around is a challenge in its, its own right but I have to say that um, we got dug what we wanted to get dug um, so if I can't walk today that's almost a small price to pay um, but on top of that we I was busy cutting things out ready for catalogues and things over the weekend so I've got bits everywhere so it's been a busy busy weekend um, and I'm just trying to get um, my head and my space clear for this morning <clears throat> oh I hope the aches improve soon as well Jackie I'm hoping that as I'm moving around during the day it will start to ease up feeling decidedly creaky at the moment so if you get strange oh ah, ah, noises in the background um it's just it's just me or strange creaking um but let's have a look what we're going to play with today i'm going to play with a stamp set that is in the um january to june mini catalogue um, and we know that this is also going to, well I know that this is also going to be in the annual catalogue. So it is the In Bloom stamp set, which you get these sort of outline flowers. Looks very odd, them being solid black, but obviously when you stamp them, they're solid whatever colour you happen to stamp them in. Um, so we've got these beautiful flowers and some really nice sentiments on there. And then we have this fabulous set of dyes. Yes, morning Lee, morning M. Anybody else that's popping up to say hello, do come on and say hello to us. So you get this fabulous set of stitched, um, pierced, they call them pierced blooms. But these leaves, these flowers, all with this sort of piercing detail in them. They're just really lovely. And I thought we would have a first little sneak of um, something new that's coming up in the catalogue. We've not touched anything new yet, but I thought as I'd got them out, we would have a play with the new in colours, which are rather beautiful. So we have Fresh Freesia, we have Pale Papaya, we have Soft Succulent, Evening Evergreen and Polished Pink. So really beautiful set of colours. Hi Jane, really love them. And in my hand here I've got some cardstock. As you can see I've already been digging into that um, to go with that. And I've also picked out Twisting and bending is not a good move. Um, I've also picked out the in colour paper stack, and that really shows off those colours. So you've got there's the polished pink, the soft succulent, that lovely fresh freesia, the pale papaya, and on the back there we have some evening evergreen and if we flip that over you've got the different patterns there as well so rather scrummy colors so i think over the next two years we're going to have some fun with these because obviously they come in as the in colours this year and they hang around for two years before we say goodbye to them. I'm not going to say never to see them again because occasionally they do come back in a colour refresh. Occasionally we do have 
um, colours that have been in colours previously come back into the family um, at a colour refresh. That certainly happened with the last colour refresh. A few of the really favourite in colours um, came back into the main um, colour palette. Okay, so let's stack these up for now. And we will use those to have a play with the pierced blooms. Now, so I've had a really busy weekend. I've not even thought about what we're going to do with these. But let's um, let's have a little look at what we've got. So it's a photopolymer stamp set, um, which is quite nice because if you want to be layering some of these colours on top of each other, which of course you could do, um, it does mean that you can see and you've got like this little centre bits of the flowers that you uh, can add on. Um, and then here we've got the dies and things that will go through it with it and some of them match um, stamps sort of roughly but not all of them so you have some other sort of random ones as well so you can make a sort of like nice mix and match really of your sort of floral backgrounds so let's have a think where shall we start and we start with a few little flowers. I'm going to get some basic white card. I've got all sorts of things all over the place here. Bits of things I've cut out and things I've printed ready to go with catalogues just Lots of busyness going on. I'm going to take a new piece of basic white, I think. And I'll just cut, cut myself high tender a quarter piece. It was really lovely. So Saturday I spent doing quite a bit of cutting things out. It's really lovely to be playing with some of the new things that are coming up. As well as the new ink colours. Sure, if you follow other demonstrators, you're starting to see those coming through on projects and things. But I do think as you can't yet buy them, obviously, if you would like to join the Stamping Up family, you can get them as part of your starter kit. We can't buy them yet. As a general rule of thumb, it seems quite cool to be flashing them in front of you. We will save that and do that when we launch the catalogue next week. We'll have a seriously good play with them there. Okay, still seem to be missing a block, but it will no doubt appear in a minute. So where shall we go with these flowers? One stamped one and one will concentrate a bit more on. Die cutting. Actually, there's no reason why you can't mix the two. But let's have some polished pink and obviously brand new ink pads. They're very juicy. This is a really bright, bold pink. I think the idea is it sort of white pink nail varnishy sort of pink Mm. 
with this one and let's have some of them let's have some pale papaya so this is sort of almost an apricotty sort of a colour sort of that mixture between a soft orange come yellowy sort of a colour smallest flower oh, let's have this no all that indecision I'm going to go with this little flower I think and we'll bring in some fresh fruit jar doesn't smell like freesias I'm afraid. There's a big smelly ink. Open up that slightly just there. See how these colours work really beautifully together. Got the evening evergreen there. Let's centre of our pale papaya um, so many centres to choose from let's take this little dotty centre you can have fun, great fun, creating your own. Flowers. Oh, the one just there that needs a bit of a... Oh, wrong colour. Oh, well. <laughs> Popped it in the green instead of the pink. That one's a slightly different variation on a theme spot the deliberate mistake and then we want something in the middle of our flowers here and I'm just going to go for this little the most starburst si and some spidery looking I'm just going to get me this papaya let's have a look what that looks like well, I'm sure just give a sort of orangey overlay. Quite pretty. In the centre. And let's have a little look. Um, with our soft succulent Put on there. Right. 
They do look like black eyes, Susans, don't they? And that's the nice thing, really. You can make them be whatever you want them to be. Now, I've done some leaves, but I think the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Mm, what shall I take? got lots of interesting little sort of flower centres, flowers in their own right, whatever you want them to be. I'm going to put a bit more soft succulent in these gaps just because we can Right, let's have a little look at the greetings. Congrats, you're so fancy now. Ooh, you're so amazing. You mean so much to me and happy birthday. You really are the best. We'll have you are amazing. We'll go back in, I think, with our evening evergreen. We'll have that coming in up there. And we are going to need to do a little bit of something. cover up our papaya blob. <laughs> Let's think, what shall we have over our papaya blob? Could go. Let's try another set of leaves. it a little bit. You have to look a bit harder to see it now. Okay, so let's bring in some cardstock. I'm going to need to trim that down a bit because I made it a complete quarter size, didn't I? So let's off both sides I think like that and then I'll take that off the top like that and we'll have a piece of this papaya cardstock and then that will make your Black eyed Susans pop out even more, Jackie. Let's um, score that. Now, we have got some really lovely ribbon. in all the ink colours so it's like this we call it an open weave ribbon like the solid colour each side it's very pretty let's have a little bit of that coming across here Excuse 
me digging about in my my box managed to get some serious ink on the back of there didn't I good job you can't see it when you stick your card down A really subtle ribbon would be like a little bow. All oh, fingers and thumbs this morning. quite pretty it's quite a say it's a a soft little ribbon it's not a solid because it's not solid color all through it gives quite a soft effect I'm gonna have to bend down and pick those up off the floor in a minute that ain't happening right now and um, where have my glue dots gone what did I use those for I remember uh, over here <laughs> They were very busy being used at the weekend. I think we'll pop this up on some dimensionals just to give this a bit of height. Obviously, as we welcome in new ink colours, that means we're saying goodbye to others. So, um, Rococo Rose, Pretty Peacock, Seaside Spray. We're going to miss those. Terracotta Tile. And one more that will come to me in a minute. already taken them down off of my um, ink stand to make room for the new ones. Now let's have a look. We have some pretties in here. We'll, we'll bring on some, some new prettiness as well. Um, Decisions, decisions, what prettiness to bring in. I'm going to bring in, I think, these, which are called Genial Gems. They're sort of got a bit of gold glitter going on in there. Really pretty. I'm just going to pop a few of those round and about because well because we can so there we go so that is a stamp set that's from the January to June catalog the in bloom that is going to be carrying over into the new catalogue so it's here to stay and we've sort of used that coordinated with um, the new ink colours that do look really rather beautiful together some of that new ribbon and a few little new gems so a few little new things sneaked in on that one let me just pop these stamps away and then we'll have a bit of a play 
with the dies we might bring some stamps in as well we'll see just going to pop them in here for now just so that they don't go walk about There's lots and lots of flowers here. And really quite sort of modern, funky sort of a style. Let's just pop that to one side for a minute. have a little look at these so you've got a really nice label there it's really pretty you've got this stem you've got these leaves lots of different leaves depending on what you want so lots of different flowers and obviously you can do them as individuals or you can build them up so you can have you know flower upon flower you could have a little center in the middle of there perhaps um, got some little centers there that you can have in there. Uh, I think actually, I quite like this just blob, I think, for that one. So we'll have some blobs in that one. Let's have some leaves. A couple of different sorts of leaves. I'm going to go with these pairs just here, I think. So we'll have some polished pink, some pale papaya and some um, fresh freesia flowers and some um, leaves in evening evergreen and um, soft succulent. We'll do ourselves a banner for our greeting and I think we might have a bow because, well because we can quite frankly. So let's do some die cutting. quick slurp of tea let's have a look what bits I've got around so I'm going to cut two of those out of there and we'll have a pair of those a bit like guess what I've been cutting out <laughs> judging by what bits of card I've got left so we'll have one of those and we'll come in with a second one in a minute let's bring this in down here of those out of there so that's going to be polished pink with fresh freesia in the middle that's going to be fresh freesia and let's have 
that one and we'll come in with that one in a minute and then that one needs to be out of polished pink and they need to cut another piece of polished pink oh no i have a little bit here is that going to be enough to cut what we want let's see one of those and we'll have some of those and then we'll sort out our greens in a minute see as these cut out they just have this fabulous stitch detail on them they are just beautiful sticking to my mat as you build them up, caught the edge of that one. Got a couple of little pink dots just there. When we're done with our pink dots, we will want another pink flower and another. to the, the mat let's bring this in we want one of those oh and the other one's gone on the floor you might hear some creaking oh. so bend to pick that up Oh, feeling like an old woman today. Right, let's have that one on there. And this one on there. We're doing a bit of jigsaw puzzles. Let's run those through. Yes, I don't blame you, Glenda. The dyes are just beautiful, aren't they? You can have great fun with the stamps. They'd make a really good one sheet wonder. pink oh didn't need to cut another of those did I oh, well we've got a couple of little ones should we want them
Okay, so we're starting to build up. We need some centers for those. So here I've got some um, soft succulent. I to cut myself. Evening evergreen, gorgeous dark green. This one, you can see it being used a lot at Christmas. Okay, two. I think I'm going to cut those center pieces out of. So, um, soft succulent and then our bow I am thinking needs to be polished pink what are you thinking tea over then that was nearly a no I'm going to tuck that on the end there I'm actually going to take oh the little dotty one I'm going to cut out a little couple of center dots again in polished pink while I've got it there right hold that down look like little Easter eggs don't they almost let's have those in the center there and there we have one set of stitched leaves have another one of those and a couple of the evening evergreen leaves We'll do a couple more of those. I've just got these little pink spots. Should we want them in the centre there? Quite cute. Let's have a few more leaves. Oh, and a bow. Let's pop the bow out. How fun is that? out the way polished pink and we'll also run through the um, the greeting panel while this one's going through whilst we're winding the machine anyway There's that. You can see that being used on lots of things. Some more evergreen dyes. I have got myself a new set of plates. I really am going to have to dig them out, I think, and at least replace this one. It gets worked very hard. 
so unsurprising that it's nearly at the point where it needs a fresh plate. When I think how many things are cut out over the weekend, it's amazing how they keep going. So when I do come to replace it, I should just make this my bottom plate. Um, Yeah, I, I think probably it's just by popularity, Glenda, that they decide. Um, I say certainly when they did the last colour refresh that was a few years ago now, um, they brought back things like Mossy Meadow and a few others, the Blackberry Bliss. Um, there was a few that had been really popular as in colours that they then brought back and they will look at the range of colours they will try to make sure that across the range they've got a good a good spread of colours and colours go up fashion so what we might all be using now and really love five years down the line you know nobody will be using so it's um they do need to every now and then they'll do a refresh and it's just to keep it you know relevant and up to date so there we have a whole little pile of things there. We've got flowers, we've got leaves, we've got that greeting. We need to decide what we're going to put on our greeting. Got you mean so much to me. Had amazing on the last one, didn't we? That's a congrats one. Happy birthday isn't going to fit on there. Unless we mask it. Let's do a bit of let's do a bit of masking. Let's get a bit fancy pants because we can. We'll go polished pink. So I'm going to pop that on there. I'm going to start by masking off this washi tape is nearly at an end. Is it enough? To mask what we need to mask is this very last bit going to come up or is it well and truly stuck it's well and truly stuck let me find a bit more washi tape one second I don't know if any of you saw the um, video that Sarah Douglas did the other day where she was creating her own washi tape. That is certainly something to have a go at and at the point. It's better actually that covers the whole of that. Right, so I've covered up that happy birthday and I've got you are really are the best showing there. Let me tuck that down so we're not covering up hopefully the tops of those letters so let's ink that up let's remove our washi tape and let's have you really are the best on the bottom there Give that a good scrub because we don't want any of that ink remaining and then we will cover up the you 
really are the best. Like that. I'm going to take another bit of washi tape. I am picking up quite a bit of ink off the surface of this, so I need to be careful when I put it down. I'm now going to cover the happy. Remember to take off your washi tape before stamping. Otherwise, you will get a stamped image. Excuse me. Let's lose you all together. I'm going to come in here with birthday. Give that a good scrub. last but not least cover this bottom bit and this time cover birthday Some kitchen towel and rub that excess ink off onto that. And let's ink up happy, whip off this tape, and let's stamp happy. Happy birthday, you really are the best. Woohoo! very inky fingers now that was quite a plasticky top on that washi tape so of course the ink just sits on the top <laughs> every time I removed it it was coming off I'm slightly polished pink right now we need to create ourselves A nice card front. Trying not to get ink all over everything. Going to take a piece of um, thick white, I think, and make a card base. I'm going to make it 14.9 square. So I've cut a piece of A4 at 14.9 that way, scored it at 14.9 that way. This piece of white card here, I've made 13.9. I'm actually going to take it down to, I think, 12.9. I want to have a nice border of that paper. 
And we're going to need to cut this down to 14.4. So 14.4 mat of the in color paper. With a mat of white on the top. And then we'll build our flowers up. I'm going to gut this though because could use some of that paper for something else. So let's bring it in about an inch on all sides just so that we know that we're So now we've got a piece of paper that we can use for another project. We've just got our frame there to sit behind there, which it does very nicely. Thank you very much. And then we'll be able to build our flowers up. To this corner somehow. Which ones as well we can add in. We have some leaves. So we'll obviously arrange these a bit nicer in a minute. Get rid of that little bit of washi tape. I am being frugal. It's like, no. We could use that paper for something else. We have to build these up. And we have our little bow that will go on the corner down there. Something like that. So let's get sticking. I might sit down for this job. My desk is just slightly low, which means I have to bend over. Normally that is not a problem. Today that is a problem. <laughs> I feel about 90. Oh. My garden had got into a terrible state, it was very neglected. So of course that means it's a lot of hard work getting it back again so let's build up some of these flowers Put a little... get our glue going and then we shall be a hair stuck on the end of that there's one these are just so pretty And I love them in these bold colours, but I have a feeling I'm a bit of a black and white girl. I do like a bit of black and white. I think in combination of black and white, they would look rather stunning as well. Might have to have a play with that. So I'm just sticking them in the centre. How lovely do these colours play together? The ink colours don't always play together as lovely as this, but then they're not necessarily meant to play together as a combination. They're meant to add a new dimension to the colour palette as a whole. Um, but these ones do both.
things like the pale papaya are colours that you didn't know you needed until you see it and then you think oh, yeah I haven't really got anything like that we've got sort of bright yellows and the mango melody is really bright and we have the so saffron that's a really pale yellow but this one has just got that sort of apricot -y colour about it right I'm going to stick that bow on that bottom corner just there I'm going to move these leaves out the way I'm going to stick these mats down then I can place this greeting Shall we put a mat on first? Oh dear, wake up, Helen. <laughs> yes, I'm thinking to myself, I'm sure it didn't work like that just now. I'm sure there was a bigger square. That's because. Now let's try that. Very conscious of not getting my inky fingers on this as well. Yes, that's a bit more like I expected it to sit like that. Right, stand up for this bit I think. Let's decide what's going to go where. Let's have this little... Let's go just here. Let's put a dimension on the back of that one. Little one in there. Let's have a dimension on the back of there. finger and I'll stick that one down there oh this one's not stuck together. Let's try that once more with feeling. Well, the ribbon's leaping off the side now. that I actually tied it up in here last week. It only takes one major crafting session and it's 
all gone again. one's coming up there okay Take this little dotty stamp just here. Again, you can use that as a flower centre. little bits in the background and there's another little dotty one here and I think we'll come in again with the few little soft succulent spots as well. I was going to bring in um, some, um, there we go, the in colour jewels so these have got a real sparkle to them and I'm just going to pick up look for me look for pick up tools over the other side I'll just use this little pokey tool I'm just going to put some of the evening evergreen ones and I'll just have one more down there just to add a little bit of sparkly bling. So this really lovely in bloom bundle, we've got the dyes. got the stamps and for both of them we've used those gorgeous gorgeous new in colors that are coming up launching in the catalog next week the pale papaya the soft succulent the fresh freesia the evening evergreen and last 
like that by absolutely no means least polished pink so have lots of fun with those stamps and dies we're going to have lots of fun over the next two years with these colors i hope you have enjoyed those cards and um that I'll be back to see you again later in the week. I will now creak off um, to do a few more jobs. Have a lovely, lovely week. Um, hope the sun shines for you and I'll see you very, very soon.